in this box. In this box. In this box. This doesn't quite sound right. In this box. No. How do I do this? In this box. No. A lot more energy. A little more enthusiasm. In this box. In this box. In in this box. In in this box. In, in this box today I have with me umbrella. But in this box with me today, today in this box with me, I have my first official, official prime lens for, of course, the Sony, of course. Now, a short little uh, like trip back in time. Until I shifted to the UK, I was a primary like Canon shooter. I only had like Canon cameras all the way from, I think, 2009 to 2021. I was just like shooting only with the Canons. I started off with uh, Canon uh, 550 and then I shifted over to the 5D Mark II and then I had the 5D Mark III and then I had the 5D Mark IV, which was like the most recent camera that I had until I picked up this, the Sony A7R4. Now, when I did shift from the Canon to the Sony systems at like set my complete complete like my complete gamut of lenses everything that I had collected over a period of time but now I've just been like using just this one lens that I'm shooting with right now so I can't even like show you the lens because it's like on the camera this is the one lens which is the 24-105 f4 so that's like the only lens that I've had like from the past like one year I can manage been good i love the lens absolutely no problems i've shot weddings i've shot food i've shot portraits i've shot fashion i have shot still life yeah i've shot a lot of still life i've shot architecture i've shot almost every gamut of photography with just the 24 1 not 5 and until very very recently like very recently in the past did i actually um, need something more to add to my kit Okay, it was like a really, really bad lighting situation, like a bad lighting situation where I felt that maybe if I had a 2.8 or maybe if I had like a 1.4 or maybe if I had something slightly like larger in aperture, I could have done a better job. Only one incident. We did get, we, I got through that because of the amazing... Uh, low lighting performance of the sony etc 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 we got through the situation absolutely fine we did not require like a different lens at that point of time i got what i wanted long story short now in this box with me today i have my first first prime lens okay without any further ado i am going to open it up i bought this box cut up like today just 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 for this okay so I'm going to boil this video down into three things. This is not going to be like one of those reviews where I'm going to talk about the technical specifications and what the rendering of the lens is like or how it is to use the lens. If you do want me to like use the lens and show you like first hand images or like first hand like video and stuff like that, do leave a comment in the comment section below and I will definitely do that just for you guys. But I am only going to like stress on three points. First, let's get down to the lens by itself. This is the Tamron 35mm 2.8. I hope they sent me the right box because I'm like, I'm not yet like, no, this is the right box. So reason number one as to why I bought the lens. The price factor on this lens is absolutely crazy. It is insane. It is so affordable that you might just have to like think once or twice. Let's say if you're like a beginner photographer to actually pick up this lens. You will earn the money back. This lens is worth its weight in gold. I am telling you that it is absolutely wonderful. Okay? Now, it being only about, I think, uh, a little, a shy, slightly like shy of uh, 200 pounds over here in the UK when I did buy this. Uh, 195 200 pounds that's roughly how much i paid for this lens it makes it amongst the most affordable prime lenses out there which still gives you quality that is point number one let's see that i'm going to slowly pull out the lens Ta -da -da -da. okay the packaging is absolutely wonderful oh by the way this video is not sponsored by tamaron or not sponsored by anybody i paid my own hard-earned money working morning to night grueling jobs grueling shoots 
amazing people to work with absolutely fantastic i love what i do i would do it day in day out and for the rest of my life but yeah saying that i did pay for this let's just not a sponsored video where did i buy it from do you want to know do you want to know leave a comment in the comment section below and i will tell you by the end of this video hit that like button smash that subscribe button do your thing help this channel grow and i will give you i will feed you with as much of information as i possibly can mm Come on out, Link. So, and the Link himself. Check out that packaging, though. It is spot on. Pretty, pretty cool. So, reason number two as to why I bought this lens. The quality of this lens is absolutely phenomenal. Yes, it is a plastic body lens. It's not made like with the best quality of of material available out there. It is. Oof, it is. beautiful okay so it's not like the most like sturdy lens or anything like that but the people that i know that shoot with this particular lens the tam the tamron okay and i've worked with at least a couple of other photographers that use this lens and they have never missed focus they have never actually like complained oh you know that the, of course there are better lenses out there there are more expensive lenses out there they will always be slightly better they might be better might not be better i'm going to leave that up to you guys to decide but this particular lens for its price factor gives you quality okay and i've seen a couple of images that like have been shot like right in front of me and then rendered and then reproduced i have not been able to find anything wrong with the image or that the image lacks in quality or anything like that so it is absolutely reliable now point number 3 what is point number 3 the 35 mm now the 35 mm falls into that uh, special like focal length where you can do almost anything you can shoot portraits with you can shoot architecture with you can shoot uh, okay architecture doubtful depends on the like, location that you are in you can shoot macro with this lens but it's got like a really really close focal range on like a macro so you can go like 1 is to 2 is what i've read about and what i've studied about you can get really really close to your subjects and with today's cameras or with the sony a7r4 given that the pixel the pixel is absolutely insane on this the pixel depth and uh, it's just an insane camera to use so when you pair it with this and you can do a 1 is to 2 image you can crop straight in and you can blow it up you can like take out prints you'll be able to retouch you will be able to do what you need to do so the 35 mm gives you that particular gamut if you're a wedding photographer you can shoot weddings with if you're a portrait photographer you can shoot portraits with if you're like a wildlife it depends on like how close you can get to like your wild animals but you can still work with it i do know one photographer that i studied with that shot like a picture of a bison with a 10 20 he was like 5 feet away from the bison that is insane you do not need to do that but yeah you get the point you can shoot like landscapes you can shoot macros you can shoot portraits you can shoot weddings you can shoot anything that you need a 35 mm is that kind of a focal range is just like a absolutely essential focal length to have so those are the three reasons why i picked up the Tamron 35 mm 2.8 it looks absolutely beautiful is the lens hood I mean like how cool is that oh that does look beautiful it smells nice too Okay so where did I buy this from I bought this from a place that is called E Infinity they pretty popular here in the UK Okay so after I did manage to book the lens there was like radio silence for some time and then I get like one mail with a tracking number and a invoice I type in the tracking number the tracking number did not work at all I typed in the invoice number I don't know why I typed in the invoice number but yeah it was it showed me what the product is and it showed me like my delivery address shipping etc 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 was on the box absolutely no problem but a, a week later I did put in like the tracking number again online tried to find it there was no sign of it I could not find it anywhere but then this just showed up today Yeah, this is the 2.8 DI3 OSD M1 S2. That's a very long name to remember, but you get the point. 
I will see you guys in the next video. If you do have any questions, doubts, or anything, just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will do my very best to get back to you with your answers. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. This is gonna be my lens that I use to create. It was designed in Japan. Very real show. It's like a new bowl designed in Japan. It has arrived. It has arrived. I've been waiting for this parcel for the past couple of weeks. It is finally here. I'm like so excited.